You are my healer, you are my keeper. You are my healer, you are my keeper. My restorer, my life giver. If you want to scream, scream. If you want to shout, shout. You are the living God. There's no one like you. Oh, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah.
lift the name of Jesus. Let me come up on me like I. Let me be no seven kind.
do better than that? We are clapping. Let's give them a good clap offering. Hallelujah. After the January prayer, uh, fasting and prayer, the worship team engaged themselves. Why is this low? The worship team engaged themselves in fasting and prayers and doing night vigil every week until this program. Can you imagine every Friday going to the church to do vigil, to pray, practice? Can we give them a bigger hand? Hallelujah. We're well, sorry we are running a bit late, but hopefully tomorrow it will not be like this. We'll try to keep to time. Hallelujah. Ministering to us this afternoon is Pastor Babs. Some call him Apostle Babs. I call him Babs. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he just calls me mommy. So I told him, look, if I call you Pastor Babs or Apostle Babs, it will make it more official. I just want to call you Babs. He said, mom, just call me anything. Just call me that. Hallelujah. Uh, a good number of us have had him ministered to us before. Is that right? How many people have heard him before? All right. A good number of hands. Great. During the last prayer conference, I remember vividly after his session of ministration, he had a word for Ifa Inwadi. Is that correct? Where is he fine? Okay, he was around earlier on. But when I was told that he fine was very sick, I didn't know how ill he fine was until he attended the prayer conference. When I saw him coming up to the stage, I could see nothing but the shadow of death over him. And when he came to the front, came up to the stage, Pastor Babs prayed for him. We prayed for him. And in fact, after that session, if I he met me outside, <laughs> I grabbed his head as if I was going to take his head off. And out of anger, I was speaking life into him because I could not imagine our losing Ifa Nyingwadi. Today, we saw Ifa Nyingwadi not looking like the shadow of death, but full of life and vigor. Somebody shout hallelujah. He completed his theological training in Equa Seminary and is now pastoring one of our churches. Hallelujah. So we would have lost the fine, but the Lord still had an assignment for him. Amen. And God used Babs to bring that to pass. Pastor Babs is the vision coordinator of Prophetic School for Kingdom Agents. He is the leader of New Wine School of the Spirit. 
He has a prophetic and apostolic worship center that is based in Jos. And he travels internationally in a Holy Spirit outreach of supernatural impact. He's also the author of the book, Spirit Life. Hallelujah. He's like a son, and I appreciate his ministry. Can we welcome him to the stage? He's here with... <clears throat> Hallelujah. He's here with uh, some of his people. And I want to thank him for advertising Tefila 24 on their platform. In fact, he told me some people will be coming out of um, the adverts that he had placed on his platform. It's good to have him here. Welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's give a shout to the Lord. Let's give a shout to the Lord. Thank you so much, Mommy. We, we love you. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. And we thank you for being a blessing always. We want to give a special honor to our daddy in the Lord. Please, let's put our hands together. The right Reverend N.C. Thompson. Daddy, we honor you. We celebrate you. We love having you in the country. You are a continuous cover and inspiration and blessing always. And we love and to celebrate you all the time. Let's give a shout to the Lord. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for being a blessing. I, I want to say, maybe I need to like point out to a few people tonight. I suppose everyone already knows. But I need to point out the fact that Redeem People's Mission is a pioneering Pentecostal ministry and mission in the city of Jos. Let's give a shout to the Lord. It's like there are some people who don't know, but as prophetic ministries assignment, we point out the callings the mantles and the scrolls like John the beloved in the book of Revelation we point out the callings upon ministries and you see when you are under a pioneering ministry you have a spirit of inheritance working on you and it seems like we need we have to re-emphasize that to the brethren to the church and to a new generation that is emerging in redeem people's mission that you have a pioneering spirit upon you meaning you have a spirit of firstborn <laughs> upon your life a spirit of fatherhood patriarchhood covering you and you see when you have a spirit of pioneering and fatherhood that means there's a spirit of sonship there's a spirit of firstborn not a spirit of older brother the older brother can be like Ishmael who doesn't have the inheritance spirit he doesn't have the promised spirit so he will start persecuting Isaac who may not be the older but has firstborn spirit You, you see, older brother spirit can be like Esau and Jacob. When they are wrestling among each other, 
who is who, who is who. That is older brother spirit. But what we have here is not older brother spirit. When you have pioneering calling, you have firstborn spirit. And you see, firstborn spirit is not just Old Testament idea or doctrine or theology. It's actually more so in the New Testament because Hebrews, the book of Hebrews chapter 12 says you have come to the heavenly Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, to an innumerable company of angels, to the spirits of just men made perfect, to the church of the firstborn, which is written where? in heaven so the church that they recognize that is written in heaven is the church of the what is the church of the what is the church of the what if there are firstborn people in this place can we give a shout to the lord i think somebody is getting me I think somebody is tapping into what I'm talking about. You see, it's the firstborn spirit that qualifies or positions you for the double portion. Double portion doesn't just come like that. Double portion is a principle in the Jewish Israeli nation that the firstborn is given double portion of inheritance so that he is empowered to take care of his brethren. He has enough resource to see to the well-being of the rest of the household, of the rest of the family. He is super blessed, super funded, super resourced. He has an overabundance because he has the care of the rest of the family in his heart and ask his assignment. So when Elisha was talking to Elijah and said, give me a double portion of your spirit. I want a double portion of your spirit. He was inadvertently saying, I am your firstborn. If you, if you grant me this position, I can preserve Israel. I can take care of the rest of the brethren. I can make sure that the invasion that the Syrians and the Assyrians and the other kingdoms want to bring against this kingdom, I will make sure I stop it. Because I, as the firstborn, I have in my heart the care and the responsibility to take care of all, all of your children, all of the children of God throughout the land of Israel. Hallelujah. And what did Elijah say? Elijah said, Actually, what you are asking me is a hard thing. But if you see me in my true spiritual essence, as I am leaving this dimension to enter, I say you will get, because you see, you, to get what you are asking, you must recognize who you are talking to. You must see me as heaven sees me. What does the Bible say? In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Henceforth know we no man after the flesh. If any man be in Christ, he's a new what? Creature. But he first of all said, Henceforth from now on, know we no man after the flesh. Henceforth, we must know each other according to the Spirit. We must know each other from the perspective of Jesus. We must know each other from the revelation of the Scripture. Of who we are that you are born in the same house that with somebody else that person is your blood your blood brother your immediate younger or older brother your immediate younger or older sister does not mean you know that person after they've gotten born again amen if your immediate or twin brother or sister gets born again you must know them again after the order of jesus christ you must recognize them anew, but from the perspective of Jesus Christ. It's good that you are good brethren from the same family, but you see it is divine when you recognize each other from the realm of the Holy Ghost. You see, the church of the firstborn is rising in this hour. 
and as a pioneering ministry you are being called to participate in that calling and as a pioneering church you are called to know one another and to know this ministry and to know this mantle and to know this calling and to know this church not after familiarity not after the flesh not after normal occasion but according to the spirit of God and that is why we are here bringing this prophetic word if you are still with me lift your hands and say amen say I will know after the spirit no longer after the flesh that I may inherit the double portion that belongs to firstborn churches if you are still here say amen it is not for nothing that Hebrews chapter 12 says that we have come to the church of the firstborn which is written in heaven. Amen. Because you see Christ himself is the firstborn of the firstborn. He is the divine seed of Abraham. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made himself a curse for us. As it is written, cursed is every man that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham should come upon the Gentiles, and that we should receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. There is a functionality of firstborn reality that is still going on in heaven. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus is the first begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have what? Eternal life. And the Bible says it behooved him who is the maker of all things to make the captain of our salvation perfect through sufferings that he after suffering and death and resurrection should become the author of salvation to all who believe you see all of these scriptures that i am quoting they are describing firstborn operations coming out of heaven where god gives his own son so that he will reap a harvest of sons where God gives his own son so that he can bring massive healing and deliverance where God gives his own son so that the whole world can believe on the father through his son you see there is an economy and a series of transactions spiritual transactions that have gone on on the basis of the first bondship of Jesus Christ but you see now that we have been reaped according to the firstborn that was given by the father, we now become the church of that firstborn to carry the inheritance of everything that the father has given to that firstborn. You see, in the city and territory of Jos, and northern Nigeria, not, not east, not west, not central Nigeria, RPM pioneered the Pentecostal move outpouring that went on in the south and in the east. RPM brought the healing ministry and mass to stay in Jos. RPM brought the Pentecostal outpouring with the baptism of the Holy Ghost with speaking in tongues. I'm glad somebody is shouting right now. Because somebody is recognizing firstbornship and inheritance. Amen. RPM brought, you see, R Ora Roberts was the first to carry healing ministry onto television. He was not the first to start, but to make it broadcast for global audience to watch healing and miracles of God live on television was Ora Roberts. But the first to pioneer healing ministry on television in Plateau and in the Northeast regions is R.P. <laughs> Courtesy of our daddy in the Lord sitting right here. <laughs> oh, you know what? You can be close to something and not recognize what you are looking at. 
You see, familiarity does not amount to knowledge. The Bible says familiarity breeds content. When there is knowledge, there is revelation. You cannot know after the flesh anymore. You must know by revelation what is going on in the mantle around you. If you know Jesus after the flesh, you won't get saved. You won't call him son of God. You will call him carpenter's son. You will call him the carpenter of Nazareth. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he will say, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. It is by knowing Jesus according to the Spirit that we receive salvation. It is knowing him by what the Spirit and the Word says that we receive his healing and his miracles. It is knowing him by the spirit and life that we receive eternal life. The living word, the word that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. The flesh profited nothing. If you want to touch what heaven is giving your brother, your sister, you can't know them after the flesh. If you want to touch what God is giving a prophet, apostle, you can't know them after the flesh. He that gives a cup of water, a reward to a righteous man, in the name of a righteous man, will receive what? A righteous man's reward. But he that gives a prophet, a drink of water, a reward in the name of a prophet, will, give, will receive what? He will receive a prophet. Your revelation in the process of interaction however little the interaction may be it actually determines everything the same cup of water the same giving to a righteous man because you see a righteous man you get righteous man's reward but when you see a prophet and you begin to recognize you get a prophet's reward tonight i came to tap into the spirit of inheritance i don't know about you Tonight, I came to recognize according to the Spirit. I came to look with the eyes of revelation. Like Elisha, when he saw Elijah, he called Elijah his real name. The chariot of Israel, the father of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. The real name and mantle of Elijah was the chariot of God in Israel. That was the real mantle. And that's when he saw him in his true color, that mantle transferred. And when he transferred in Elisha's own days too, they called him the chariots of Israel and the horsemen. Because the same thing that was on Elijah had, not, had now transferred. Today, God has called somebody to no longer look after the flesh. If you want to receive the rewards of the spirit, God is calling you right now to now look by the spirit. To now interact by the spirit even among your brother your sister henceforth know we no man after thee if any man be in christ he's a new maybe you've known each other for 10 years maybe for 20 years but are you tapping into the reward of the spirit by knowing each other according to the spirit because you can know somebody for 10 years and it can be a knowledge according to the flesh and therefore, the reward of the Spirit may remain pending. But you can know somebody for one day and recognize them by the Spirit. And immediately, the reward of the Holy Ghost starts to flow. I want you to look around. Are you sure you know these people you've been working with? Are you sure you know the people you've been greeting every day? Are you sure... That you've known people according to the spirit and are therefore receiving the reward of recognition according to the spirit. There are people on my trips, various places across the country and beyond. I meet people for the first time but I know them like I know them before. And immediately we sit down and we, ask, we start talking like we've known each other for the past 10 years. But we only just met. But because we recognize each other in the spirit, we are able to tap and harvest the reward that the spirit of God has to offer. I meet people for the first time and realize I've dreamt about them before. I've seen their face in dreams. I have seen the clothes and shoes that they are wearing. I have seen it before. 
Even the words that they are speaking, I recognize I've seen this before. I have seen you before. I don't know where, but I have seen you before. And exactly what you were wearing now is what you were wearing when I saw you in my visions. Meaning we've known each other in the spirit. Even though we never met in the flesh. And immediately supernatural things start to come out of those relationships. Immediately divine open doors. Divine blessings and divine breakthroughs start to come. The treasures of God can only be harnessed when you recognize from the spirit. And whereas, if you recognize from the flesh, then you may be surrounded by treasures in people that God wants to offer you, but a lack of recognition is now diverting. I believe plenty of treasure has been blocked away because there has not been sufficient recognition by the spirit among brethren in the body of Christ. But today, the spirit of firstborn is coming. Tonight, the spirit of inheritance is coming. I said the double portion nature of Elisha is beginning to walk in a new set of people. And the mantle of pioneering that is over this place is about to transfer double portion. Unto somebody who is seen and recognizing by the Spirit. If you are still with me, say amen. Yeah. <laughs> the other time I came around when mommy was supervising buildings and I said, I'm about to get ready to start building. And so I tap into whatever it is you are operating on. And lo and behold, our building started going up and going up and going up in the middle of Rayfield. Where everybody, both local and international, are coming to buy land. And coming to build institutions, they just say, Who is this? This must be a federal government project. And I say, Yes, it's the federal government of heaven that is building something in this place. You say, ah, is it an NGO that is building this? I say, Yes, it's the NGO of the spirit. A prophetic NGO is building. How are you getting the money? I may not have the money, but I have the realm. I may not have the pocket things in my pocket, but I have a connection. I know how to enter spiritual doors. I know how to enter spiritual gates. When you look at RPM, you see that RPM built a most adv advanced school when this ministry came. And everybody far and near came to recognize a very high quality international standard school that was in the middle of Joss. And people far and near began to send in their children. And in this place, God has used this school to start revival among many young people. And in a time where the land was not yet cultivated, RPM was buying land and expanding and building and expanding. What do you think is operating? It's a spirit of inheritance. I want you to know that if you connect with the inheritance, you'll start buying land and building. Amen. You will see that it's not by what you've put in the account. You will see that it's a spirit. It's a spirit of pioneering. Like Israel had a spirit to possess land and to begin to occupy. This is spiritual occupation. Spiritual possessing of land that is now manifesting that everybody is coming around to see. And building and expanding and rebuilding and expanding. Why? Because pioneering is at work. But you see the great news is that you are under the same pioneering atmosphere. The demand is right now. Do you know according to the spirit? The demand right now is to be able to connect, not in the flesh, but according to the spirit. Because you see, I see Jesus Christ visiting this church once again. And a move of God that went on in the past is about to begin again. You see, RPM Pioneer Media, hmm, media ministry, television broadcast with miracle signs and wonders in the city of Joss. There's nobody, no part of Joss that you will not see people who have been to RPM crusades. Amen. Families that have gotten healings and miracles. Amen. People who watched on television and got touched. There's no part because I've, I've, I've walked around and everybody knows RPM. And how wouldn't they know? 
All the Pentecostal leaders in the region came from here. You see, you may be here, but sometimes you may be too close to recognize. So God has to send a prophet to come and give spiritual definition of what you are looking at and may be looking at in the flesh. And so that you can look again in the spirit and be able to shout, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Because when you start seeing in the spirit, your declaration starts to change. When you start seeing in the spirit, God starts to give you new utterance. When you start hearing from the realm of the spirit, you start to speak in a new tongue. And that is the tongue of inheritance. It is the tongue of the double portion. It is the tongue of sonship that starts to speak by the spirit in you. Bible says in Romans 8 that God has not given us the spirit of bondage unto fear. But he has given us the spirit of sonship whereby we cry what? Abba Father. So what was inside of Elisha's spirit when he said, my father, my father? It's the spirit of sonship. The spirit of sonship makes you pray differently. The spirit of sonship makes you have an, a new kind of decree. The spirit of sonship makes you bring a fresh utterance and a fresh tongue that nobody may have been speaking. Nobody was using that language much in Israel, but Elisha, by a spirit of sonship, picked it up. And Romans 8, around verse 12, 13, says God hasn't given you the spirit of fear unto bondage, but he has given you the spirit of what? Sonship. And when that spirit of sonship is inside of you, it starts to shout. It starts to announce. It starts to decree. It starts to bring a new prayer point. It starts to bring another proclamation. It starts to activate inheritance. It begins to recognize with revelation. It begins to know according to the spirit. No longer according to the flesh. Tonight a spirit of sonship is released. A spirit of inheritance is released. And a double portion is about to come forth. If you are in position with me, give a shout to the Lord. <laughs> Somebody will have a double portion media. <laughs> because media in RPM is not done yet. You know, in those days, television miracle ministry was still new. In the 70s into the 80s. But now there is new media. There is internet media. There is social media. Do you know there is, there is online finance media? Do you know that? Online, fin online finance. We are going to the banks to withdraw money. We are transferring more and more. But does somebody recognize that there is a spirit of pioneering at work? A spirit that pioneered media must be into a lot of finance. I believe you know that. It takes a lot of finance to broadcast. Because the broadcasters and media people rule the world by influence, by soft power, by pictures and audiovisuals. Amen? They carry a lot of finance investment into it. But this mantle in this place pioneered media in this region. That means there will be connection with new media with a lot of high finance. Oh my God, who is tapping into this? Me, I know I'm tapping into this. I know I am tapping into something. Anytime I'm ministering on, on Facebook, online, prophecy, healings, miracles happen very fast. Do you know why? <laughs> I am tapping. Can somebody lift your hands? I'm praying the Holy Ghost. Korobosha. Kibarabasha. Taledeba. Softly, brother. What, what, what are you tapping into? Can you tap into something? In the atmosphere in this place can you tap into your own portion your own measure Ooh. thank you Lord Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' mighty name, there's a Deborah mantle in this place. Because as you are tapping into daddy, you are tapping into mommy. Somebody is going to go into powerful Deborah mantles. Because you see, when you come under a place, you are under the corporate expression of a mantle. It is at that point no longer individual. It is now corporate. When a mantle pioneers an assignment and people are brought in, it gives them a place under that mantle. You are not just attending. You are not just in quote, there's nothing like I'm just a member. You have a portion inside of the mantle that is functioning. You see, when you see by the Spirit, you will see yourself that you are actually special. Even though you don't come to the front to hold microphone, you will recognize I have a place that is special. Because that place was prepared for me inside of a spiritual mantle that is operational inside of the place. And when I'm in that place, I come to connect to my portion of that mantle, which is now in corporate expression. You see, as you come in here, you can be an evangelist, revivalist, sharing under the mantle. You can be a media expert, sharing under the mantle. You can be a finance power, sharing that portion of the mantle. And that is scriptural. Because you see, when Elijah was taken up, Elisha received the double portion. But before Elijah went, God said, go and anoint Hazael to be king over Syria. Then anoint Jehu to be, king over Samer to be king over Samaria, Israel. And anoint Elisha to be prophet in thy room. And it shall come to pass, whosoever shall escape the sword of Jehu, escape the sword of Hazael, shall Jehu slay. And whosoever shall escape the sword of Jehu shall, Elisha slay. You see, the mantle of Elijah didn't just stay in prophetic ministry, it entered into Syria. Kingdoms where Israel was not ruling, like Syria, Elijah's mantle had say there. You see, in the palace in Samaria, where Israeli government was coming from, Elijah had mantle, like Elijah rather, had mantle expression in that place, as, long, as well as with the prophetic mantle that he transferred. So the Elijah mantle went into various spheres. As you are here, you may not be a part, you may not be a past, pastor or evangelist, but you have a portion. You may not be a teacher and a preacher, but you have a spiritual portion. This one is not just I am coming and sitting down so that I can mark register and show that, yes, I attended today. No, this one you have a portion of a mantle that you are attending onto. You have an inheritance in the place that you are tapping onto. You have a portion of the spirit that created so much that is allocated to you for you to receive and start to grow into. When you start to see that, nobody tells you before you show up. Nobody tells you before you are faithful. When you are going to do things, you will do it as unto you will do it as unto God because you know it is the spiritual hand of God that is over that place that is at work in you that you are responding to. There will be no eye service. There will be no hypocrisy. There will be no striving one another. I am this person. I am that. This one. No, you already have an inheritance because you have the spirit of sonship. Because you are under a firstborn spirit. Not under an older brother's spirit. An older brother spirit inside of Ishmael attacking Isaac was a sign that he did not have inheritance. He knew he was missing something. So the person who looked like he was going to get it, he attacked the person. Instead of switching to heaven and say, let me just walk in my own portion, he begins to strive. You see the same striving between Esau and Jacob. That's older brother spirit. It's not the same with firstborn spirit. Firstborn spirit will look to what God gave and see by the spirit and receive its measure 
which God often makes a double portion, you become so empowered, you will have the ability to help others, not be fighting with them. Hallelujah. In ministry today, we see a lot of people attacking a lot of people. Do you know what spirit it is now? <laughs> people who attack something as if they are angry, it is no longer just word, it is sentiment. It means you have taken it personal. And if you are personal and sentimental, you are no longer objective. You are no longer talking justice and truth. You are expressing a personal grievance. And now you are now using it to oppress, oppress other people and make yourself feel like the center stage. Because actually the truth is that you see something in somebody that you want for yourself, but because it looks like you can't have it, you now antagonize the person. That is how all that brother spirit functions. So when you see some people, hey, this person, this and that, you know the spirit that is at work. But if it is a firstborn spirit, it will carry an extra measure to be able to carry the brethren. To be able to help the brother. To be able to save the sister. To be able to bring a deliverance. To be able to bring a healing. If I'm talking to somebody, say amen. amen. Do you know that today you can make up your mind that you are going for a firstborn spirit? Not an older brother's spirit. Do you know that you can say, the thing is that God has given everybody the choice. You can decide by yourself that I am going to be a firstborn spirit, not an older brother's spirit. I am going to carry a spirit of inheritance, not a spirit of striving. I am going to carry the spirit that God will feel happy giving the double portion. Not the spirit that I want to rob the little that the other people have. Because I am envious and I am striving for something. I tell you, when you strive for that spirit of inheritance, you have more than enough. You will see that the things that people are fighting over is actually little. It's because of a small mind. When God blesses you and you have super abundance and you have a double portion, you will look around and like, I actually need to find somebody I can help. You see that spirit on David such that even though Saul persecuted David, David still loved Jonathan. And when Jonathan died, David became king after Saul died and he came back and said, who is remaining in the house of Saul, in the house of Jonathan, that I may show him what? Somebody say firstborn spirit. Somebody say sonship spirit. He will look for among the brethren. Instead of looking for an opportunity for revenge, he came back and said, your father attacked me and almost killed me. He wanted me dead. But we are of the same house. We are of the same tribe. Who is remaining? I have a sonship spirit that I want to use to help. I have a sonship spirit that has given me a double portion that I want to use to empower you. I want to use to give you a place at the table. Who to God that there are more people with sonship spirit among brethren? Who to God rather than the striving spirit that we keep seeing all the time, what God is looking for is the church of the firstborn written in heaven to be manifesting in the earth. It's already in heaven. But who will manifest it in the earth? That's what heaven is looking for right now. He says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is written in heaven. I have a word in my spirit this afternoon. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is saying, who among you wants to carry the spirit of sonship? The spirit of the firstborn. So that I can put an abundance of spirit. An abundance of the double portion. An abundance of blessing and favor upon their lives so that they can help their brethren. Heaven is talking. And Peter had denied Jesus three times denied him with swearing and cursing but when jesus rose up from the dead he said simon do you still love me more than all this he said yes lord he said take care of my lambs 
Then he asked him the second time. He said, I love you. He said, then take care of my sheep. Heaven is looking for, because God couldn't get rid of Peter because Peter had the spirit of sonship. And yet there were many little lambs and sheep around that needed help. They needed strengthening. So he said, look, you, even though you may have misbehaved, you messed up, but you, you, you are mature. You have that right spirit. You were the first to proclaim you are the Christ, the son of the living God. So Peter had that witness of the sonship of the son of God inside of him. And because of that, they couldn't remove him. Rather, they brought him again and said, listen, we want to invest in you so that you can help our people. And the Spirit of God is saying, who among us in this place will carry the spirit of sonship? I want us to pray right now. I don't know how many minutes I've got left. Maybe a sleep can be sent me so that I can keep the time. Glory to God. God is looking for an Elisha. He is looking for a church of the firstborn that is written in heaven to manifest in the earth. God is looking for a Peter who has the spirit of sonship that proclaimed you are not, you are not a prophet Jesus, you are not John the Baptist, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, upon you I will build, I will build, I will build my church and the gates of heaven because you have the spirit of sonship i will give you the keys of the kingdom whatever you bind on it will be bound i will give you authority i will give you blessing i will give you a name your name is no longer simon your name is now the peter the rock i will give you a recognition out of heaven i will bless you with the ability to open heaven and to open the earth since you have the witness of sonship inside of you since you have the spirit of inheritance upon you i will give you fresh revelation you will be able to see and be able to hear the power of god to multiply the kingdom in the earth will rest upon your life because you have the spirit of sonship who is that peter in this place that has the spirit of the son because God wants to bless you extraordinarily. This is your time. Hallelujah. I think somebody needs to step to the front. If you want to stand before God and say, Father, regarding your walk in the earth, Lord, I want to carry your spirit of sonship. I want to be among those that you can entrust with the spirit of sonship. Is there anybody like that? Can you just step out to the front? Let's pray together. If it was left to you, left to you, will the brethren suffer? If it is left to you, if it's left to you, will there be striving and commotion and confusion and envy? Or will there be the empowering of the brethren. Do you have a spirit of older brother, a spirit of striving, a spirit of envy? Or do you have a spirit of sonship that wants to see the father's house established, that wants to see the kingdom advance, that is ready to pay the price to carry the double portion so that you can take care of the children of Israel, so that you can take care of the people of God, if you tell God, God, if I'm empowered, your children can't suffer. If I'm empowered, your people cannot suffer. Can God trust you like that? Father, if I'm anointed, all your children will be free. The healing and deliverance upon this ministry, we will spread it far and wide. Lord, if you bless me, I will make sure your people are empowered. A spirit of sonship is praying in somebody right now. A spirit of Abba Father is talking. An Elisha double portion is talking. Oh my God. Jesus is here. Oh, is it until they make you pastor? 
before you decide to take care of brethren <laughs> do you have a spirit of sonship so that the spirit of inheritance can activate a double portion Oh, somebody's going to get a double portion today. Is your heart burning that you intercede for the little lambs and the sheep? Or do you wait for people to raise prayer points so that instead of praying, you start to gossip? Is that a spirit of striving? Or is it a spirit of sonship? Woo! Does your heart move when you see brethren hungry? Do you feel a hunger to empower them? To make them wealthy? I hear the Holy Ghost speaking something. It says, I'm bringing a spirit of inheritance. Love, love. They say we should love one another. Let's love one another. Is it by mouth? Or do you have that spirit that wants to see the well-being of the little lambs, of the sheep of God? The double portion, the double portion, the double portion is coming on somebody. The Elisha double portion. Because after now, your eyes will open. Your ears will open because you have the love of the Father. You have become a son. A son of the house. A servant looks for his reward. A son wants to see the building of his father's house. A father walks, a servant walks in the father's house to see his reward. A son walks in the house to see the house built. The building of the house is a son's reward. I see an outpouring. The spirit of sonship is going into a woman's heart right now. It's going into a papa's house right now. It's going into a young man's heart right now. There is a young lady picking up the spirit of God right now. Uh huh. A Deborah mantle is falling in this place that says even though the land is scattered the people are forsaking the highways until I Deborah I arose a mother I'm a mother I am not waiting to be appointed I have the care of the children of Israel in my heart I arose because of my love and care that Deborah mantle that Deborah spirit is in this place right now where is that Davidic spirit in this place? That Davidic spirit. I will make me my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. Yes, he was not part of the army. But when he saw Goliath, he said, I, let nobody fear. I will take on this uncircumcised Philistine. It was not his duty, but it was his law. Where is that David right now? One, two, three, four. Karabasha. That Davidic sonship spirit that doesn't mind facing Goliath because he's insulting the people of Israel. He's insulting the God of David rose up and said, I may be small, but I have a spirit of sonship. You may be small, but a Davidic spirit. One, two, three, four, ha -ha, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today you are changed. A new transformation. A new difference is upon your life. 
You may be small, but from today, I will make you take down giants. Says the Holy Ghost. Says the Spirit of the Lord. You will bring down giants. You will take down mountains. Because you have my spirit of sonship, I will make you higher than the kings of the earth. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Oh my God, where is the Esther? There is an Esther spirit in this place that said if I perish, let me perish. I am going to see the king because I love my people and my people are in danger. I will risk my life. I will fast. I will pray. I will change my garments and I will go to the gate where nobody is supposed to go. That if the king doesn't save you, you will surely die. But if I perish, let me perish. I have the love of the father and I have the love of the people. The heart for the kingdom is at work inside of me. Where is the Esther? Esther's be stared up right now. The Holy Ghost is coming. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Korobo shakaha. Kebaraba soto leteba. Kebaraba shakaha. Kobaraba shakaha. This is the basis for leadership. This is the new foundation for authority. It's not by portfolio. It's not by position. It's, by, it's not by official formal letter. It is by a heart. A heart of sonship. A heart of David. A heart of Jesus. A heart. A heart of Esther. Heart of Deborah. All of them stood up because they had the spirit of sonship. They had the love of God to see his house built inside of their hearts. No wonder. Deborah will prophesy the ascension of Jesus over Barak even before Jesus comes and dies and say when he ascended on high he led captivity captive. He will, she will prophesy and say arise back Barak, son of Abinoam, lead thy captivity captive. When a spirit of sonship is inside of you, your revelation will be beyond normal. Your insight will be far, far, far. Your foresight will be hundreds and even thousands of years ahead. God is making a call to you today. Who has the spirit of sonship? Who has the heart of sonship? Let me pour out a blessing on them. Let me give them a double portion. Let me bless them, bless their market, bless their trading, bless their merchandise, bless the work of their hands beyond their imagination. Kerobo Shakaha. That is Jesus moving in this crowd. Kerobo That's the spirit of sonship. Being poured out. Who wants to be a billionaire? Give me a heart of sonship. Let me give you the inheritance of the world. Kerobo, <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody with a heart of sonship is about to become a billionaire. Because the father says, I am not afraid or ashamed to give you anything and more than you ask if you have my people in mind. If I empower you, will my people still suffer? If I empower you, will they still cry from hunger? Today, somebody is being lifted. Somebody is going into breakthrough. Somebody is going into the, the, the super abundant billions of God. Yes, I said billions. You may be young. You may be old. God is not ashamed of giving you more than you can imagine if you will empower his people. 
He's not ashamed. He's not moved by your age. He's not moved that you are still a student. He's not moved that you are an old man or an old woman. God is not moved. He will still give you an abundance now that will blow your mind. It will be beyond anything you ever imagined, anything you ever dreamed. A spirit, because a spirit of sonship, a spirit of inheritance is now resting upon you. It's happening right now. I declare the release of the inheritance of the earth over the sons and the daughters of God in business who have the spirit of sonship. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, aha. Two, three, four. Mine are the silver and the gold. Mine are the silver and the gold. Mine are the silver. The silver and the gold. There's a move of God in this place. A move of God is in this place. Somebody is going into the possessions of the inheritance of the earth by a spirit of sonship. You are going to possess the earth because the earth will open up to you because he will recognize the sonship of God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. But the sonship of God will now be seen on you from now on. And the earth will respond. The earth is opening to you. Because with you, the children of God will not suffer hunger. They will not suffer anymore. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I give you the praise. Blessed be your name. Wow. Thank you for watering these people. Thank you for pouring your spirit of sonship, your spirit upon your people, upon these people. Thank you for your mighty hand going to walk. Thank you for the spirit of inheritance and sonship. There's a difference in this place. There's a difference. A difference. Aha. Somebody is going to notice a difference. Somebody is about to see the difference manifesting in their lives. Aha. Because what could not enter your hand, what could not happen before, will manifest now. Because the Spirit of God says the spirit of inheritance is bringing a double portion. A double portion. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, I commit your sons and daughters into your hands. These ones who have come out to make a covenant of the heart of sonship the heart of inheritance, the heart of the church of the firstborn that have come to make that covenant with you. Father, today, 
we seal and establish that covenant that what you have for your people, for your church, for your sheep, for your children globally, you can commit into their hands and those things will flow. And therefore, Father, today I ask that there be no more limits to the things that they can flow in, to the places and the things they can enter, to the realm of the Spirit of God that will be put upon their lives, to the favor, blessing, abundance of resource that you will put in their hands. Because if they are empowered, your people will be secure. If they are made strong, your people will be empowered. And so I reinforce you today. I declare you are empowered. I declare you are resourced. I declare the oil of riches. Favor and abundance. Territory and land. Increase and harvest. is now resting upon you. For the sake of the people of God. So you are blessed and you are prospered in Jesus' Hey! Hey! Let's give a shout to the Lord! Let's sing that song together. today and that which you have received may it be permanent in your lives in the name of Jesus now it was still in that prayer conference of 20 22 that he gave a prophetic word here that some people will be going abroad not too long after that one of our brethren the daughter left for Canada hallelujah And some other people have received their visas and traveled abroad since then. Many more will happen. I said many more will happen. When God begins to visit us, in the realm in which he is talking about. <laughs> the things we shall see, we will not be able to explain. The spirit of sonship. Father, we thank you. May we be on our feet as we thank the Lord. Let's just thank God for what he is doing for what he has done, for what he has given. When we thank him, he will do more. Lift your hands up. Lift your voices up. Open your mouths and begin to thank God. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. 
Oh, Shakana Maliria Santa La Ragara Bushene. Brigo Shalabacantani Eli Carisco no moi la Braga da Genia. I call on Fred to take over from here. Yea, Gege Gege Lizentali a robot of Shakana Maila. Idibaku Sanaya. Where's Reverend Fred? Magadi la brando shene yabaz idi kabrando ah oh okay la kasi nali ko brogo do shena maya thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We may be seated. We were supposed to have a guest singer before this time. We want to call her up now. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, we have um, a guest minister with us. She's a psalmist. Um, I'm just going to read a few things about her here. Uh, Panam Bande is a graduate of library and information science from the prestigious Adama State University. She believes strongly in the abilities of a woman she bears. She has an honest passion for God and she showcases this in the way she reaches out to the less privileged as it is a burning desire she has. Panam strongly believes that music has been a bridge that connects her to her cause. In her words, she says, everything I do right now revolves around music and worship. Music and worship is her passion, a driving force, her calling, her purpose is just knitted with music, glorifying God, being all that she's called to be, and touching the lives of people. And let me add that she is a native of Adamawa State. Uh, uh, people of God, we are so blessed to have the ministry of a minstrel with passion for God and the person of Panam Bandi. Let's celebrate Jesus as she comes up. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Do I have victorious people in the house? Can you give the Lord a shout? Hallelujah. God is worthy of all praise. Amen. I'm blessed that God has entrusted me with sonship. Amen. Amen. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. Oh, I of the goodness of God, I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in my darkest night. You are closer like no other. I've known you as a father.
Yes. And all my life you have been so, so
so much mom for this opportunity in 20 minutes we are going to be praying in line with that message we just heard that's what we're going to do right now uh in fact i wasn't expecting this pulpit <laughs> because when we have pulpit before us um, we tend to want to preach <laughs> amen now see the mind with which we need to take this prayer. A man of prayer is a carrier of the spirit fire. And when you have two, three, four gathered together in the church to form a prayer band, you have a pool of the spirit fire burning. Am I, am I correct? Now, what we have here Oh, you want to remove it? <laughs> okay, that is better. <laughs> now, what, what we have here is, we have a pool of so many group of persons of prayers, carriers of the spirit fire, gathering here together. What do you think we are having here? We, we have a greater fire right here in our means and what that gives us is what we have in um, in deuteronomy 30 32 it says one can chase a thousand and two we put ten thousand to flight hello are we together so so we are going to be praying and that message tells us something that is top provoking That our father in the Lord is the person who pioneered Pentecostalism in Plateau State. 
And, and let me tell you, brothers and sisters, he wasn't just talking. I deliberately asked the professor, Professor Gaya for <laughs> Professor Gaya directly. He taught us um, he taught us Pentecostalism. I asked him, how did Pentecostalism come to Joss? He didn't know I'm coming from RPM. He talked about businessmen. He said I could, I could go ask Reverend N.C. Thompson. <laughs> he said I could go ask him. So, so, so the, the preacher wasn't just speculating. He was saying something purely historical. Now what we have here is to call back this spirit here. We need this spirit here. He talked about double portion. We need the double portion not only of the spirit but of the power, of the finance, of the human beings, numerical strength, of everything Pentecostalism, not only in Joss, but in all our branches. Everyone here, you are going back to your branch with a double portion of the spirit fire. Let's rise as we begin to pray. Whatever it is that have made us go the way we appear to be must go off. We are going up the mountain again and we are taking back that spirit. We will have it again. We will have it again. A revival of it must come again. The spirit of God healing power deliverance power every power necessary to bring us the double portion of the spirit Arise, O oh Lord, we take that song together. Arise, we need the Lord to arise. Let him remember the labor of our Father in the Lord. Let him remember that pioneering work done. Let him remember that whole labor put in. And let him bless, let him bless our PM again. Let him bless our ministers again. Let him bless our members again. Let him bless our churches again. We need to have that double portion. That double portion. Yes, by the anointing, Jesus break the yoke. Just sing it and we will go into this prayer. By the anointing, Jesus break the yoke. We're taking straight.
pray against every dryness, every dryness. Anything it is that saps our power, saps the anointing, saps the spirit of unity, gets us off our move. Let's stand against them. Let's pray against them. Let's rebuke them. Let's cast them away. This mountain must go. This mountain must be removed. This mountain must be removed. We receive two and we lose two must go. It must go. It must go. It must go. We have a fracture here. This group is gone out. It must go. It must go. Every power we have, every force we have must be together and give us all that we have need of. Arise, Lord, arise, Lord, arise, Lord, arise, Lord. Let every dryness go of our lives. Let every dryness go of our lives. Let everything that saps the anointing, that takes away our strength, that takes away our numbers, that takes away the sense of things you've given, go of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's begin to pray for the double portion, the double portion, the double portion. Deuteronomy 32 cited earlier, we are many here, we can chase more than 10,000, more than 10,000, more than 10,000. When we gather this way, we can pull down the consuming fire. Lots of carriers of the spirit fire have gathered. And we can pull down the spirit fire. We need this fire again. We need this double portion. We need this double portion in our numerical strength, in our financial strength, in our spiritual strength, in our geographical strength, in our structural strength. We need this double portion. Hear us again, Lord. Respond to us again. Respond to us again. Respond to us again. Respond to us again. Remember us again. Remember us again. Remember us again. Rasa kapanda no mo shorana. Meta kapanda no mo shorasanena. Meta kombo no rosto shorabana. Shekape tahana na mona. Ramba kombo shorosana. Visit us again. Visit us again. Visit us again, visit us again, visit us again, visit us again. Shaka bana no bono, no sobala de namaro shadara. Maka bato soposwa, meta fa pablo kosto soro bandena. Mashaka bata hara plono rosa, rekente shebla abanona. Maro sobro bono rosa, rekente shebla abosto kelelena. Beginning from this place, the spirit fire will flow again and to all our branches, to all our branches, to all our branches, a revival that the spirit of God orders, a revival that the spirit of God operates, a revival that the spirit of God controls, a revival that is not structured according to human understanding, something that can spark up from any corner, begin to speak to God, our gathering shall not be in vain, our coming together shall not be in vain, 
A change must come here. A change must come in all our districts. A change must come in all our branches. A change must come upon every individual that carries redemptive peace of their heart. Shake up a tana burojara. Meta kombo loro shora bakana. Mesha kenta bato bato kolono na. Mata shaka bato nombo loro shora. Meta bako rostoro hanena. Mando burosto koro bana. Retete baka shopo loro rosoha. Meta bando ko prosto shora na. Rendembe na hakamba no rosto so. Rakate bana no burosto no na. Mata tapa ko prosto rosanena. Ramba loro ha. Let there be outbreak of your power again. Let there be outbreak of your spirit. Let there be outbreak of your spirit. Let there be outbreak of your revival. Let there be outbreak of your revival. Let there be outbreak of your revival. Overtake us, Lord. Overtake our reasoning. Overtake our knowledge. Overtake our understanding. Overtake our structures. Let there be outbreak of your power again. Mauro Sora Black and Sara Mahadena. Mashan Loro Sora Maha. two three minutes I want us to pray in the spirit there are areas we cannot cover there are things we cannot talk about but let's pray in the spirit the Lord knows the Lord knows he sees he understands let's pray the spirit of God will guide our prayers he will guide the strength of it the force it carries the power it carries to where it matters to where it ought to get to we need a change we need a revival we need a rise we need something totally different something totally different we need to take our rightful place pray in the spirit wherever you are pray in the spirit pray in the spirit Makata Bohosto, Rasereba, Makatepa to Bohono Rosto Sunday, Kapeta Shedem and Hanor of Oroso, Sabakata and the Bohosto Roseleba, Kapanda, Hapato Sapetala, Masaka Pato, no Proto Manadeba, Kapeta Sodoba, Renta de Hemanabo, Rosto Sopra Neda.
God for that session of prayer. While they give us a good song, we're going to take an offering. So please bring out very good offering. Can we have the offering boxes? We're going to have, I think, about two here, perhaps two in the middle, so that it will not take us long. Uh, the ushers, please guide us as we take the offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, can you rise on your feet if you don't mind with your offerings? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can put a clap on that offering. You can put a shout on it. You can give God some shout of praise tonight. You can just give him glory in this building, wherever you are. Just give him a shout of praise. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody, are you ready? Are you ready? Tell somebody, are you ready? <laughs> hey.
said disco no good. <laughs> disco, this is disco in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> huh? Thank you. 
another day. Put on your dancing shoes and be ready to dance. Hallelujah. I want to sincerely thank our Father in the Lord for his presence in this place. You don't know what your presence has done. Hallelujah. And we have been like children rejoicing in the presence of their father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give him another clap offering. Amen. Thank you, sir. This is the only time I'm saying so. <laughs> I haven't been saying so. <laughs> eh? I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning. I want to thank all the DOs and their wives, all the ministers. I want to thank Reverend Dede, who is here with his beloved wife. And I remember at this point that if Daddy Tanufa had been alive, Daddy Tanufa would have been here. Let's just give him a clap offering and hope that he will receive from heaven. Hallelujah. Daddy Tenufa never missed such. And I remember 2022, he was here with his wife. We thank God for that man of God. I don't know how to thank these gentlemen. The instrumentalists, the choir, the worship leaders, the sound, the media, they have worked and worked and worked. And for almost two nights, they hardly slept, going to and fro in order to get these things ready. As at yesterday, we were still struggling with power. But they were here until we were able to get the instruments going and there was sound and everything. Let's give them a beautiful hand. Thank you, young man. We shall go to Gembu and we shall go to Kasinala. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. They need this. They need the young people there. Reverend Obi, just be ready to take them to. And Reverend Godson, be ready to receive them in Gembu. Hallelujah. I want to thank those in the kitchen, if they can hear me. All through last week, they were cooking, and we've come into this week again. They are cooking. We want to say, God bless you. And I want to thank everybody here. Now, maybe let me do this now. 
can we welcome those from Gembu district? If you are here from Gembu, can you please stand? Wow! Let's give them a clap offering. Hallelujah! Wow! 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 God bless you. Thank you for coming. It took them about two days to get here. What love, what dedication, what commitment. Give them another hand. And it takes about, is it 60 or 70,000 to come from Gembu to this place? How much? To and fro. Okay, around that. But you can see how many of our brethren are here. Let's give them another hand. Can we see those from Jalingo District? If you are from Jalingo District, can you please stand? Wow. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Wow, welcome Jalingites. Good to see you. Let's give them another hand. Gembu District gave us one million and fifteen naira towards this conference. Let's give them a hand. Jalingo District gave us the sum of one million. Let's give them a big hand. Hallelujah. See, we are moving somewhere. Yes. Let's see those from Yola District. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah. Welcome, Yola District. Let's give them a good hand. Hallelujah. I know that about 800 and it was successful. We thank God that it was successful. Hallelujah. And that is why he and his wife are not here. They are yet to send us their contribution. They have said they will send something. Let's see those from Just District. Just District. Hallelujah. Just District. Please tell your friends that are not here today that they cannot afford to miss tomorrow. Because I know that if we have all those from Bukuru, Raholkanam, and other places, this place will be more than what it is today. Hallelujah. We are yet to receive their contribution, but I know that they have not, never failed us. And so we are still expecting. Can we see those from Capital District? Capital District. Wow. Capital District. Whoa. Thank you very much. Again, I know that if all the people from Laranto, Tudungwada, um, Rayfield, Tina Junction, Army engineers, Tidunwada, Rukuba Road, Dadinkoa. If all those people are around, this place will not contain us. So, those of you who are around, please tell your friends, tell the others that we would like to see them here tomorrow. They gave us 600,000 towards the conference. Hallelujah. 
Let's see those from headquarters. National headquarters. National headquarters. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming again. I know that if all the people from the national headquarters showed up, we will be more than this. Please talk to your friends. Tell them that they must not disgrace us. Tell them that they are disgracing us because the people from Gembu, Yola, and Jalingo, they are almost more than those from the headquarters. Huh? Yeah. So tell them to come. They must come tomorrow. Amen. We are yet to receive from the headquarters. But I expect that they will act like the headquarters and give us... Huh? What I'm saying is that we have not heard anything. So the money will be sent to the account. But on behalf of the headquarters, we are still expecting. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Abuja District. Let's see those from Abuja District. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Abuja District gave us 425,000. Let's give them a big hand. Hallelujah. Eastern Kaduna District. Oh, it's 475, not 425. Thank you very much. Let's give them a good hand. Kaduna District. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I think they are yet to send. I'm not sure if they have sent theirs. Kaduna. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last but not the least, Eastern District. Let's see our people from Eastern District. The wise men of the East. Hallelujah. Want to welcome them. Thank you for coming. We are yet to know what they will support this program with. And then for all the individuals that have contributed here and there, I want to say a very big thank you. What we see here, is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Namonio, we have already spent over six million and we are yet to spend. So when you are giving, give generously want to thank our sister here for your wonderful ministration thank you so much you blessed our heart you blessed our soul and for everyone who is here tonight thank you thank you thank you tomorrow is yet another day and I am believing that there will be an overflow tomorrow. Amen? So please, talk to your friends. Tonight, after dinner, there's going to be a session for those most likely who are camping or those that are mobile and can stay and go home from seven to nine, there will be a session. And I don't want to say what it is all about, but Reverend Ike is there, Reverend Musa is there, uh, Reverend Godson is there, Reverend Chibuzo is there. So it's going to be power packed. If there are specific things 
that you want dealt with. Tonight is the night. And every night, there will be special sessions. So please, make use of every opportunity you have. That is for tonight. Tomorrow, and pastors, don't crucify me. But the pastors and their wives, we are going to go a bit higher. God told Moses, let the people come. Some will stay just at the foot of the mountain. Some will climb up to a particular point. But as for you, Moses, you will climb to the top. Ministers, we want to climb to the top. Eh? Uh -uh, nobody should say amen on their behalf. Let me hear the ministers say amen. amen. The ministers and their wives say amen. amen. We have night vigil tomorrow. <laughs> eh? So it's a time for us, the ministers and their wives. We are going to talk to ourselves and we are going to strive. We are going to we, we want to go higher so that when we go higher, we know how to come back and bless our people. So please, tomorrow, as you come for the program, if you're out of town, be ready for the vigil. We'll start at 9 and try to finish by 1 or 2, okay? Those in town, you may still be able to go home. If you are out of town, my office is there. If you want to sleep there, you can. Even though Reverend Femi is there, I know he wouldn't mind accommodating some of you. And wherever we can find space for you. But it's a time for us to go a bit higher. We want the next level. We have a price to pay. Hallelujah. And I think that will be it for me tonight. Dinner will be by 6 o'clock. Any more announcements? And maybe after the last announcement, we'll call on Reverend Dede to come and pray for us the closing prayer. Praise the Lord. We have these uh, stickers for sale. Another level, my year of another level. 250 per copy. I think some of the ushers are having it, so after now you can get a copy from them. Uh, those eating with the ticket, you will go get your food in the kitchen. Others that are buying will go down behind the new admin to buy their food there. Please, when you go, give them the ticket so that we'll be able to account for the food Then we are going to be paying. Just as I've been said, we are in for uh, transformation by the grace of our God. Now let me call on Dede now to come and pray for us. Okay, ministers from uh, Gembu, uh, Jalingo, Yola, you will take your own food. Okay, Eastern District, you will have your meal at the admin. All the ministers from there, you will have it at the admin. So after the prayer, thank you. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Everlasting Father, we want to thank you for your presence here. We bless your name for your goodness and love. We thank you for gathering your people from far and wide together here 
to the praise of your holy name. Dear Lord, you have been with us from morning till now. And as we are about to dismiss, we ask that your presence